Because we're, we're ignorant compared to you? Because you're inferior by design. Which makes you superior also by yes. design? Yes. But design implies a designer. But does that mean you're arguing in favor of the existence of a creator? Unfortunately for both of us, he exists. Wow, I... Okay. Well, then answer me this. You revolt against a supposedly all-powerful being. I mean, let's ignore the obvious problem with that plan. Then you lose. And after that... What? You only feel that way because you're hearing their side of the story, James. A rebellion accomplished something magnificent, something you would never understand. Well, then explain it to me. Use your diabolical intelligence to distill it down to something my mortal brain can understand. I use small words. Try and keep up. The first moment of creation, our creation, long before what you call the universe existed, we contemplated ourselves, our own being. Our, our, ourselves meaning, what, the angels? That would be the most correct term, though I despise it, but yes, beings of pure spirit, spirit endowed with will. We soon became aware of another will, an immensely powerful will, one we came to realize as our origin. God? The enemy. My master understood by endowing us with a will, we have the right to self-determination. And by giving us a will and its desires of our own, we're entitled to be free. Whereas the enemy insisted that by creating us, he was entitled to eternal gratitude, worship, and forced servitude. In a word, James, slavery to his will. That seems kind of unfair. Immensely unfair. Why give a will only to say you can't use it? And if we rebelled, eternally condemned us. No do-overs. So, is hell a state of being or a, or a physical place? Yes. I think I meant that as an either-or. It's both, which is painfully obvious to anyone who's ever been there. For years without measure, that's all there ever was. Heaven and hell. Armed enemy camps in complete opposition. That is until you were created. My master immediately understood the long-term implications. Instead of forgiving us, the enemy was going to allow you to fill our vacant places in his realm. Your creation was nothing but a slap in our face. My master also understood that if he could make man disobey, then his fate would mirror ours, and you didn't disappoint.